I was watching some video today with other potters on Facebook, YouTube, and I was, saw this one on bleach and the texturing of surfaces that he used and the character of his pots and improvisation of tools and so I went downstairs very inspiring video by the way if you can look it up on YouTube and I took a piece of rosewood that my dad used to make some musical instruments a while back and it was left over so I made a few blocks of my own unique simple blocks a simple cross pattern uh, pretty tight meat tenderizer type of pattern then a larger version of the same kind of idea completely random on my bandsaw just cut them up real quick and then I made this little tic-tac-toe pattern and a cross pattern on the next one. So these are block stamps that I created on the bandsaw downstairs and I wanted to see what they look like. So I threw a cylinder and I'm going to use them to make impressions and then expand the cylinder. And I'm probably least impressed with this guy because it's the most synthetic. It's nine screws on one side and five on the other. Um, but it deserves a chance before I figure out something else to do with it. The little Phillips head screws will leave an interesting mark, that's for sure. So I threw this cylinder and I used my heat gun on it to warm it up, to dry it out just enough. Like this. kind of thing and uh, got the cylinder there got the cylinder there to where the surface of it wasn't so tacky from throwing so now I am going to use my meat tenderizer for the first time. <clears throat> Which I think is very cool. definitely completely my own unique never ever will ever be like another so I'm making a row of stamps impressions from that <coughs> trying to find the center there and between those two pattern sets and then coming up with an alternate interacting pattern
about being in love with something. I really just want to see what these look like, so I'm going to stick them down here. The most skeptical of things quite often turn out to be the most interesting variations that people might ask, well, what on earth is that?
a mishmash of patterns. There you go.